clue to understand that predominantly it's driven by arithmetic so if you look at arithmetic close by so people who have been working on arithmetic very well i think it's a good news for them because trust me quants as far as that is concerned it's not going to be really easy it's going to be actually moderate to difficult level um it's again subjective depends on what kind of practice that you've been doing after cat snap so and so forth right so if you are not somebody who is too much into algebra and geometry i think it's a good thing for you because it's going to be really driven by arithmetic now a quick look at if you look at the changes profit and loss uh, it's been there from last uh, three years but um, eventually uh, to 2018 we, we we had no question from pnl and then percentage was added and also one more question was added uh, yeah ratio and proportion was added so these two things were added last year uh, in 2018 that so they were not there you know before previously they were not there so it was an addition so probably you can see the same thing getting continued so you might as well see percentages or ratio proportion coming back again in 2019 and uh, you might see averages being added this time so you never know but again as far as arithmetic is concerned guys this is the most important thing that you have to do now let's understand the level of difficulty the level of difficulty as far as arithmetic is concerned is going to be easy to moderate it's not going to be on a difficult level yes it's going to be calculative no doubt about it you got to do the calculations but yes at the end of the day it's going to be manageable and it is going to be scoring so if you get a good chunk of questions as far as um, your um, arithmetic is concerned round about you can think about having six to seven questions from arithmetic domain then to my surprise last year if you look at number system came in i mean if you look at number system they had only like you know that guys have been asking like two questions two questions and then one question but last year uh, we could see a good jump as far as uh, number system is concerned but again the questions were not that tough they were on the basic level they asked the uh, you know the remainder and some a couple of you know theorems and all that stuff um divisibility and all that thing right so if you have done with number system on a basic level i think uh, round about if we, I, if i see round about six questions i would say three questions should be manageable so 50 to 60 percent of the entire number system can be manageable guys so again this is something that you can have a little bit relaxation on now to my surprise algebra is something which is going down so if you look at cat like you know they be cat ask like around about like 11 to 12 question as far as algebra is concerned but if you look at that over a period of time from last four years that is not pretty much keen on the algebra and i would believe that they will continue the same uh, you know fashion this year also and maybe in 2019 you might see around about two to three questions from algebra now i don't think that there will be a huge spike in the algebra so you can get around about eight to nine questions i don't see that kind of thing happening in 2019 so rest assured algebra will be like two to three questions now what category the algebra be coming from quadratic equations inequalities you will see like last year there were one there was one question from quadratic and there was one question from the inequality so pretty much manageable fair enough now the most important part and the crucial part is geometry and mensuration geometry may you will have uh, you know uh, circles you will have the theorems you will have the triangles so and so forth right so five questions now if i look at from last four years it has been consistent so five four eight seven right so the bare minimum that you can expect as far as geometry is concerned is number four four questions and the max that you can see is around about eight questions so that's going to be the total of your geometry again i don't see uh, kind of you know surprising spike as far as geometry is concerned but yes now the problem with geometry is that it's not going to be easy trust me it's not going to be easy geometry and mensuration has always been tougher as far as that is concerned so guys here what why it gets tough okay let's let's understand this why it gets tougher what kind of questions you get so the questions are basically normal but it's just a mixture so what happens in this mix is basically you get questions um, which is like you know which has a combination of um, circle and a triangle so you get one or two theorems added into each other and that's where your question become a little bit tougher a little bit calculative a little bit you know you have to spend time in cracking that question right that's the only thing i would say but i think if you have been preparing for cat per se then i don't think there will be a problem as far as geometry and mensuration is concerned but again uh, you know having said that this section is going to be a little bit problematic and time consuming because geometry and mensuration will be killing your time no doubt about that again on the same level if you see your trigonometry is also coming a little tough 
Uh, one questions consistently they've been asking from last four years you can expect one question in 2019 or max two questions right nothing more than that but again trigonometry has been on the little bit of a tougher side guys so do have a look at these questions i think the best way to study the you know for that point is not to do any classes ka material or you know not to pick up any classes ka book i would say i think the bible is going to be here for you guys is going to be last six to seven years paper so even if you do last six to seven years papers try to solve quants uh in last uh, from last six to seven papers trust me you'll be able to do fairly well bare minimum you'll be able to clear the cut off that's for sure in 2019 but do last seven to eight years ka papers rigorously and religiously understand the pattern understand the format understand what kind of questions they've been asking i will be uploading a video on it no doubt about it but you can start a little bit early for your own benefit guys fine now coming back to di now okay before i go ahead let me answer uh, one question here is that See, nobody is sure that you know what. How many questions are going to be there as far as ZAT 2019 is considered? Let's assume rather. Let's 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 be positive that they'll be asking you around about 27 to 29 questions as far as quant and DI is concerned. I don't think the number will go down or number will go up. You know, uh, drastically. So my 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 thing says that you know 27 to 29 will be the uh, cap and the floor as far as your um, you know the the entire quant section is concerned. Now, data interpretation. trust me this is not going to be the easy thing it's a tough nut to crack as far as di is concerned zat is known for di zat has its own tradition of di right they've been known for di and i think they're going to continue the same thing okay what happens in di you get di which are calculation intensive you get di which are you know a little bit uh, i wouldn't say a little bit but they are more of data driven too much of information is there in the di right so i won't say it's tough saying it stuff is not a correct thing it is calculative and it is time consuming but yes for the fact it's a calculation based and there is too much information available if you work your calculations out and if you know the shortcuts and all i think di will still be manageable no doubt it's going to take your time but again six questions on 27 that's round about a good number of 20 30% your paper will be developed by uh, data interpretation i think 30% is a good number and i think they'll be continuing with the same thing so you can expect around about six questions bare minimum or bare minimum five questions and maximum eight to nine questions as far as di is concerned so guys have a look at this analysis very well zat is kind of an exam which will not throw surprises at you it's been consistent at you know it will be taken care of so i don't think you have to kind of you know practice something really extraordinary itna bhi kar loge na yaar to bhi kafi ho jayega aapke liye bas itni si request hai whatever you do do it nicely understand the stuff and do it don't study haphazardly because that is not like cat or any other exam it's a beautiful exam to be very honest strategy both yahan pe zyada matter karta hai preparation to karna hi chahiye aapko but strategy both zyada matter karta hai so anyway i will be uploading videos on the colleges unke cut offs the strategy the section wise strategy the analysis so on so forth so you can expect round about uh, every day you can expect one video from my side and guys stay tuned to my channel you can subscribe to my channel if you need any help you can get in touch with me either on the phone or my facebook page yeah i hope you enjoyed this video guys now it's time to buckle up and start preparing for your zat thank you so much